I'm a demon. Is that the Grim Reaper? Hi guys, it's Nia, and right now you're watching the third episode of How Did They Do That? How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. If not, huh. I don't really know what to say if you guys are not doing well. I just hope that you get better somehow, because that's all you can do, right? Just get better somehow. Anyway, so, first, before I say anything, I want to apologize for not being in front of the camera. Again, the only reason I'm not is because, for one, I don't feel too well. And for two, it's four in the morning. And I don't really want to get ready right now to be in front of the camera because it's too late. But then again, I could have did this a little bit earlier, but I procrastinated and there's nothing I can do about that now. It's in the past. For today's episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a demon eye effect and that a demon eye is when your eye turns completely black because i guess that's what happens when you're possessed your eyes turn black and this effect can be seen in a bunch of different things within pop culture such as billy eilish's when we fall asleep where do we go music video and then a second example would be from the show supernatural when dean winchester i think think that's what his name was but whenever he would go demon time or whatever his eyes would turn completely black and so yeah that's what we're going to be doing for this episode yep come out say hello to adrian say hello to the camera that was horrible my, uh, my <laughs> okay the first thing that we need to do in this video is we need to obtain our footage. Because we have two cats. And you keep letting them on your clothes, I mean. I don't let them on my clothes, they go on my clothes. Ooh, this is pretty. Or maybe instead, it should be, move the chair over here instead. I really do think this is perfect. No, it just looks weird in the camera, trust me. I'll move the chair. <laughs> is that why? Because you don't want to move the chair? I'm okay with moving it, but I just woke up. I'm tired. Look down. Slowly lean back. The second slash final thing that we gotta do is we have to edit the piece. Okay, during editing, the Mocha program ended up shutting down multiple times, so um, I decided to show you how to do the edit using both Mocha and using After Effects. So what you're gonna do is when you open up After Effects, you are going to create a new composition. Once you're in the Mocha app, you need to use the X spline tool in order to draw the shape around the eye. And after that, you're going to track the footage. Once your footage is saved, return to After Effects and then apply the effect to the footage. After you're done with that one eye, you're going to go to the next eye and then proceed to do the same exact thing to that eye. The second way to edit the demon eyes is using a solid layer and just masking around the eye. Using After Effects, create a solid layer and turn off the visibility by selecting the eye icon on the layer. Next, select the layer and trace out the shape of the eye. Oh, and also just a quick tip, a good way to get the pin tool up is by pressing the shortcut key G. After you go over that layer with the pin tool, the mask shape should create itself. Now with the solid layer selected still, type the letter M to roll out the mask properties and then click the stopwatch icon next to the heading mask path. 
This will create a keyframe, ensuring that the mask shape position will be locked in on this frame of the footage. And then after that, you're going to need to scrub through the entire sequence manually, and you're going to need to move each mask point to follow the path of the footage. Since the mask path is active, the keyframes will automatically be created at each frame points are adjusted. This is another quick tip. Do not set keyframes for every single frame within your footage. Doing this will be extremely unnecessary and very time consuming. After that, you're gonna need to set the initial keyframe, then move to the end of the sequence. Uh, make sure to adjust the overall shape back in place over the eye. Doing this is going to help After Effects guide the path of the mask and it's going to require less keyframes as you scrub through the footage and move the mask shape as a whole. After you complete this on one eye, proceed to do the same thing to the second eye. Um, something really cool that you can do in order to make your eye look a little bit more realistic than just pure black is add reflection to the eye to make it look like it's shiny. You can do this by creating another solid layer, but instead of making it black like in the like before, make it white this time. And then after that, just make, you know, certain shapes. I chose little circles and then just place it throughout the eye to make it look shiny. This is all that you have to do for editing. Here is the final look. And that's all that we have for this episode. I hope you guys really liked it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!